Hello, it's Thursday, August the 19th, 2010, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from MaxiForex. The dollar fluctuated against most major currencies as risk aversion remained at a high level after a negative assessment of the US economy by a senior Federal Reserve official. Crude oil weakened by 0.5% to close at $75.40 a barrel. Gold strengthened by 0.3% to close at $1,231.40 an ounce. The euro lost ground against the dollar as European stocks opened weaker, declining for the first time this week, boosting demand for safer assets like the dollar. Next resistance on the one-hour chart is at 129.50. If the rate trades above this level, the pair should continue its uptrend. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 128.23 and a high of 129.22. Today, German PPI is expected to decrease from 0.6% to 0.2%. The pound rebounded for a three-week low against the dollar and rose versus the euro after minutes of the Bank of England's last meeting showed policymakers considered arguments for withdrawing emergency stimulus this month. The pound dollar has enjoyed stable trading in the last four days. Next support on the daily chart is at 1.55. If the price breaks this level, a short position is preferred. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 154.98 and a high of 156.88. The yen approached its strongest level against the euro in more than six weeks and fluctuated versus the dollar as concern that the global economy reco economic recovery is losing steam boast boosted demand for currency as a refuge. Overall, the dollar-yen traded with a low of 85.19 and a high of 85.61. The CAD rose for the second day versus the dollar as speculation that a purchase by a leading Canadian manufacturer will proceed raised the prospect for further demand commodity producers. As long as the dollar CAD is below the 1.03 levels, a short position is preferred and the momentum is clearly bearish. Next support on the 1-hour chart is located at 102.60 with next resistance at 103.50. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 102.70 and a high of 103.41. That's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.